I think I got a Weedy from the 40s, the 1928 George the Fifth Penny. I got a 57 Penny, and uh, Dwayne just stumbled what we think is a, a bottle dump. And uh, there's lots of bottles around, and Dwayne just pulled this out. It's embossed. It says. It looks like it says lung tonic. Lung tonic. Oh man, the blue on this is amazing. It is just an amazing color blue, this bottle. That's a nice score, Dwayne. That's probably the find of the day right there. Other than his antlers, he also find, found a shed, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Well, that's a, we're going to scout around here for a few bottles, so if uh, we find anything, there's definitely stuff around. Pot of, piece of a, something, some kind of pottery, I don't know. Okay, Dub Spader and the crew, and Dwayne with his nice bottle out. So check this out, folks. Dwayne just got the old corker. So I, I, I just started kicking around a little bit. And I got this old brass buckle with some kind of fancy on it. <laughs> it's nothing great. Well, that's pretty cool find. Neat. Ketchup bottle. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Depp Spader and the crew. Rumblebee's up there somewhere in the woods out. Hey folks, still out. We've definitely stumbled onto some kind of old dumping ground. We got lots of old pottery. All kinds of it. All kinds of old pottery. Just tons of it. There's tons of stuff in here. Bones. That's all the signs. Dump. Look at this. Look at the color of this piece of glass. Whatever this was. Look at the color of that glass. Look at that. Look at an old corker there. And I got some kind of bottle in the hole here. I don't know what it is, if it's anything, but it looks like it's whole. I'm going to work it out and I'll uh, let you see what I get at the end. Dump spader out. Okay, folks, so here we are. I've just dug a little tiny hole that you see here. I've gotten pink, pinkish toned glass. All kinds of these type of things, porcelain or whatever they are, dishware. And, the bottle that you see me going for was this one, which has got some age. It's got bubbles. The bottom's all uneven. It's got a nice green tinge to it. It's not embossed. But it's an older bottle. For sure, look at all the bubbles in it. I don't know if you can see those. But it's got bubbles all over the place in the glass. Big bubbles. Even in the neck, long bubbles. Look at those long bubbles in the neck. They're not cracks. That's one rough bottle. Cool. Depth spader out. This is going to be a good spot. Okay, folks. Still out at it. Got another little embossed beauty corker. There's some old bottles here to be found. I'm not sure what this one says on it. Battery might die any second. Something pine syrup. Norway pine syrup, 132 on the bottom. It's got a nice sort of greenish hue, blue hue to it. Another awesome bottle, cool. We're working away. Death Spader and the crew, out. Okay, hey everybody. After a little bit of looking, this is what we got. We're gonna have to definitely come back and give this place a good bottle hunt because there is some old glass in there pink purple red is crazy there's some really old glass in there and this we got a couple of nice colored embossed ones corker of course beautiful this one's a real dark dark blue there's rumble beep in the background yeah there was so much china and plates and teacups and old old bottles and this one it's just full of bubbles i don't know if you guys can make those out but there is bubbles even long ones in the neck and it's not a smooth it's not a very smooth neck 
does have a little number on the back, but I can't read it. And the bottom is totally uneven all around. Thin there, thick there, big bubbles. It's a cool old bottle. Almost dark. Uh, I only had like an hour to get stop in here and uh, and uh, I've done a little bit of digging and look. Oh man, got some nice beauties. This guy's embossed. Pure olive oil. It's got a tinge of blue to it. Corker, another corker, this big old corker. A little corker, another embossed one that's kind of pink. I haven't read that yet. Capan is Italian bomb. <laughs> Wicket, got a buckle, an old fork, an old lantern part came out of there. I also got a clay marble, a um, couple of buttons, a glass from an eyeglasses. That's some kind of button, I haven't cleaned it up yet. Clay marble. And another button. So let's just see what we've got in here. It's getting late and it's starting to snow, but I've only been here like 25 minutes and I've pulled out all this stuff and I've just dug right here, just this little hole and I'm gonna continue. So hopefully we'll get more and I'll get back to you. Step spader out. Okay, the collection keeps growing still. A couple of porcelain doorknobs. I got a little, a little cork top. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. And I got something here in the hole. I hope it's not broken. It is embossed. It says something. With any luck, it's whole, folks. There's another one there. With any luck, it's still in whole condition. This is how Depp Spader got his start, was digging bottles. Okay. I need both hands. I hope it's not broken. I'll get back to you in a bit. Depth spader out. Okay, folks, got it out. It looks complete. And it is embossed. I don't know what it says yet. Let's take a look together. Let's see what it is. I'll wipe this off. Imperial. Paint. It says Imperial Pint. I'm betting. Oh, some kind of whiskey. Old Irish whiskey. Oh man, ah, oh, that is cool. Old Irish whiskey. We'll have to clean that up better at home. Man, this place is going to be a little bottle gold mine. There's some old stuff coming out of here. Cool. Depth spader out. Okay, everybody. Back at the little bottle hole, and I've gotten well, some corkers, a lot of mason jar lids, another uh, lantern part, and I've got this one in the hole. It's embossed. I hope it's not broken. I'm trying to get it out carefully. There's just stuff everywhere. It snowed last night, as you can obviously see. Not a big hole, there's just tons of old bottles here, tons. I really want to get this one out. This one is an awesome bottle. If, I, it's, not, if it's not broken, it's going to be dynamite. We'll check back with you once I get it out. Depth spader out. Okay, folks. Got a good mess of bottles now. I've only been here about 45 minutes. Got some beauties. This little embossed one from Paris, cork. Another embossed one. This fat little embossed one there's some blues there's some tops it's too bad this one that you saw me digging broke because that is an awesome bottle that would have been awesome it's from toronto too and then i got this dairy one snow on it but it was embossed as well but it's got a chip too bad but i just dug this out of the hole it was in the it was just in here and it looks like a vicky large scent whoa that looks weird. What is that? What is that? It's in good shape. On that side, anyway. 
No, it's a large tent. It's a, it is an 1880. I can't make out that last number. It's an 18 something. I think it says eight or six. I think it says 1888 or 86. Wow, got a large tent and I'm not even detecting. Ah, maybe it says 1880. I can't tell. I don't know, but it's a Vicky large tent. Beautiful. Awesome, man. And not even with the detector today. Just digging this hole. This stuff is 1800s for sure, man. These bottles that are coming out of here, man, I have hardly touched any. Awesome. Step skater out. We'll let you know if we get any more. I'm, it's too bad that old blue ink bottle wasn't together. That is, would have been dynamite. Step skater out. Hey, folks. Okay. Here's some of the finds from digging today. That's broken, but I want to research that because I found a few of those broken and I want to find a whole one because it's from Toronto. Big Toronto on the side. Kind of dairy thing that's got a chip, but I'm going to take it. All these mason jar lids, embossed bottles, embossed. Like that little embossed, that's embossed. Some more of this stuff. And I found the 1886 large scent, which is put away for safekeeping. Okay, I'm going to pack this stuff up and then do a little bit more. And if I get anything else, I'll pull the camera back out and show you. For all I know, this whole hill could be an old dump. There's something funny about this hill. Cool. Dup spader. Out. Okay, got a couple more there. I've got all this stuff here. Veronica Reed. Another embossed. I don't know what this is, but that's one heavy little bottle. Another porcelain knob. I, I think this is a key to wind up a grandfather clock. Uh, I got the porcelain mason top lid. More bottles. Crazy little soda bottle. A lock. This is cool. I don't know what it's from, but it's cool. Some kind of old wood knob. Sweet. Bottles. This says patented October 27th, 1875. I don't know if you can read that. I'm not sure what this was. It said something on top. Something dry. Hmm. Don't know. Cool. Lots of good finds. I think these are brakes from some kind of old car or something from an old car or wagon. Old lock. An old little D buckle. Cool. Dup sprayer out. I'm going to pack it in, I think. It's 3.30 now, and uh, who knows when we'll be back. Oh yeah, I also found a drone. And of course this isn't old, but found it in the woods. Must have had a crash landing. Huh. Cool. Depp Spader. At the 1800s, early 1900s bottle site out. Okay folks, just a quick little return to the old little bottle dump. And uh, a few old things, the old pitchfork, old thing. But I just found this in here. And it does have some hallmarks. I think it's silver, folks. It's missing one of the balls. But I think that was silver. There's some hallmark. There's some writing right there. Can't read it. I'll have to get it home and clean it up and see what it says. Depth fader out.